Okay, we're going to make them an improved line follower. This one will use some of the advanced options. Let's have a look here. So on the standard tool palette, I've chosen the loop and have it loop for infinity. I need to choose a switch to put inside there. The switch that we choose, the light sensor. Light up the top, dark down the bottom. I'll set the threshold at the moment to 50. That should be set to about 45 for the usual conditions. But check that. Now in here, we just put the motor. This move command. It's the move command with the two cogs in it. It's got the two cogs in there. But I'm not going to use it this time. I'm going to go to the complete tool palette. So down the bottom there, we've got the standard or the common. We've got the complete here. And here, we have some different ones. Here we're looking for the motor one with a single cog. The slight difference here. I'm going to drag this in. This works better. It only controls one motor at the time, no biasing. And it just seems to work a lot better. So my motor is set to B and C. So I'm going to set motor B to move at a power of about 50. forward. And then I'm going to drag and drop another motor in. And this one is motor C, is the other motor. I'm going to have this one go backwards at about 10. Now the difference here, you notice that it's going unlimited and unlimited down here. So in other words, it's going to keep going until it's told to do something different. So for example, it comes in here, the light sensor senses its light, turns this motor on to go forward at 50% of power, and this motor is turned on to go backwards at 10%. And that will keep going until it's told to do something different. If it loops around, it comes back, and that will continue. If it loops around and comes back, it's now in the dark, it'll do this different here. It should be able to do this about 15 times a second. So it's chicken every 15 times, but the motor continually moves. So down here, I need to do the opposite. So this time I want motor C to go forward at about 50. And I want motor B to go backwards at about 10. Now the subtle differences are these motors work faster, so therefore they don't take as much long to react. And they will react, make the whole line follower just move a little bit more smoothly and a little bit better. So that is simply my program. Don't use this common palette move. Come into the all commands, under actions, and use the motor command there. That one gives you much more control, controls one motor at a time, and it actually operates faster than the code.